Arcadia says, I could have woohoo with you forever. Is it, is it love at first sight, you guys? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to another episode of Modded. So we're going to do our notification Fantacorn fame shout out and this one goes to a 90s baby and they said Easter, Halloween, Christmas Eve, Pride. Then they said yes, they should move into a townhouse. Atticus could have his own room like he does at his dad's. So totally agree. We got to do those holidays and we got to do a whole bunch more. So you guys left me some great holiday suggestions. So we're going to be adding a bunch. I'll do some off camera, probably some of the next episode, you know, we'll just see. And yeah, I really think they should be moving into a townhouse a lot of you guys like that idea so I think we're going to be doing it whenever they do move and it would be great if Atticus could have uh you know just his own room and his own space and everything like that especially as he's like a child so yes thank you so much for your comment and if you guys want a chance to be in a notification fantacorn fame shout out all you gotta do is comment down below on any video you can comment anything you want or you can comment some unicorn emojis and turn your notifications on okay so um we have Acadia here and what's wrong with you oh you have a hangover Okay, I'm going to have, she has, okay, this is what we're going to do. I was thinking about this. So I'm going to put the weed, or no, 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 we don't want to do that. What did I just do? We want to put her weed in her inventory because she's like, basically, Kate is like, I need to take this away from you. Like, you want to quit, like, you know, and everything like that. Like, it's getting out of hand. So she's just like, just give me all your weed. <laughs> and then she's just going to smoke it. So that's what's going to happen right now. All right, so she's going to do that. And then, um, you all bubbles more at ease on okay i think she should get some work done while atticus is sleeping and just you know atticus feels good right now so it's like the perfect time oh god no 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 don't do that <laughs> i mean good <laughs> um but we're gonna go to adult world and then live cams and we're gonna do a vip vip show um so what is this uh want to watch that series you like with me what oh my gosh you guys wait we were talking about well we were talking about them being like ending up being really close friends but then like you know there was a mention about like what if they date too so i don't know i don't know but we're gonna go <laughs> that is interesting okay okay this episode's already starting off with some stuff going on so i guess we're gonna see how they get along um what do you guys think would they just be friends or would they be more i don't know did she have her baby i think she did she's so cute so i did create her um she looks a little bit different in this save though now i feel like i don't know i mean she was pregnant when i created her <laughs> um and she is a she was a teen but now she's a young adult um i think that's what i did anyways um but anyways i have like a whole creative sim with her with the whole story and everything um inside joke um uh, movie together like they should actually go up and watch a movie these apartments are pretty cute i can't lie um but there's no tv and we can't even get one so how in the hell are you gonna even do that we kind of can't <laughs> Okay, they're just gonna come and chat then. Sit and chat here. What the heck? You don't even have a TV and you want to have movie slash TV together or TV slash movie together. Like what? <laughs> I love the apartments like this though. They give me Sims 2 vibes and it's just, it's everything. And then, hi. So th this girl's here. Oh, you want advice? You know what? Give her some. Give her some. We love that. Um, oh, she looks so cute and cozy. Her leggings on, but we're going to change her though. So, uh, da -da -da, dresser, change outfit. There we go. Okay. Seriously, so helpful to just do that. And then I'm going to do the same thing for you. Ooh, we got a hundred. Okay. Change outfit. I like that we're getting some Harlow time. But yeah, is there a way like I can actually have her go to rehab, you guys? I don't know. Like there's a doctor's appointment. Um, thank you so much. I will do exactly what you've told me. And then who's this? I don't know. We, the, like, base mental is such, like, an interesting mod to me. It sounds so weird to say, but... Oh, wait, you were trying to go to the bathroom and you really gotta go. Okay. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry. Ooh, look at her. She feels great. Social helper. She has a bright smile. Minty freshness. She's feeling great, you guys. Wait, what was that? Mentally relaxed from the weed. <laughs> okay. So she's going to try not to smoke anymore, you guys. She gave the rest of her weed to Acadia. She's going to try it. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm kind of nervous. I can't lie. Maybe, like, that's why she came over here. Uh, Talk about overcoming insecurities. Okay, that's a good thing to talk about right now. Um, 
and we'll talk about the cold temperature and then we'll go ahead and ask about favorite author what do you mean okay whatever we're good <laughs> i think they'd be cute as friends or as more to be honest i don't know um, and then there's that other person isn't there like there's aurora that she's getting a little romance with i don't know why she has a little romance with omar what the heck that's crazy i mean i don't know she can have like multiple different people over time like you know she totally could do that and like guys and girls of course gender is just she doesn't care about that you guys she just she doesn't care okay so they're really close should i have them flirt you guys I mean, they could just be best friends, but they could also be a little more. It would be kind of cute. Ooh, I'm going to compliment her parents and just see how she reacts. We're not going to do much. Oh, are you leaving? We're not going to do much because she's really tired. But I just want to see how she would react to that. I'm curious. And like, okay, see, like when we're doing romantic interactions, that's weird, right? I think that's really weird. Um, I want to take a photo, but the lighting really sucks here. <laughs> It really sucks. Um, let's ask if she's single. I think she is. Ooh, romance skill acquired. So this is the road to romance mod we will be using in this save now. So we're gonna be doing that. Okay, wait. It says she's single, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so she's down. Okay. Let's flirt with her a little bit. They both have little breakouts. Look at them twinning. How cute are they? How cute are they, you guys? Oh. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna try to get a photo. It's not the greatest lighting, but hey, it's something. Hey, that's still a cute picture, not gonna lie. Do you like them? Like, obviously, there is Aurora too. I mean, they're cute as well. Who do you like better? For her to, for to, like, her first relationship. It doesn't mean she's gonna stay with them. Um, she could just end up being, like, her best friend. Like, who knows? Um, let's go ahead and do a pickup line. Kinda nervous. Wait, can we not? Girl. Oh, she'd be taking out the trash. Oh, no, she's not. She's just cleaning up some trash. Let's compliment her appearance again. I don't want to go too crazy. Um, I'm just a little bit nervous. But I just want to get, like, it started. She's actually kind of bored. Oh, what are you talking about? Ooh, we got it started. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait. I want to know, like... Ask opinion about exclusivity. I'm curious. Really curious. What is that? Like a random club icon? Who knows? Let's exchange numbers. Ooh, stoner. Dark circles. Where's the sound go? I have no idea. Okay, wait. We're good. Ooh, I tend to prefer non-exclusive relationships. I don't know how she would feel about that. I think she would still potentially date her one time. Okay, she's gonna leave. She's just so tired. Oh, wait. Oh, should I let this finish? Eh, should I? I feel like I don't need to. Let me just end it. They're way too tired. <laughs> uh, I think she's also tired. But I think she would still date someone who, like, didn't want an exclusive relationship, but she wouldn't, like, I don't know. She would just try dating them. I definitely don't think she would, like, settle with them. You know what I mean? Um, and then I think, I think the next person to have a relationship, though, is definitely going to be Acadia. I really want that to happen. Maybe that can happen in this episode. <gasps> that would be really cute. And then one of you guys suggested, I think it was on my Snowy Escape Let's Play. Um, basically, uh, yeah, it was the first episode that I recorded in my actual game because all the episode ha episodes had been filmed in the early build for the online Sims camp thing. Um, so then I got it in my real game. And I did an episode and like all these mods were making the let's play even more fun. Like all this stuff started happening with mods. And I was like, oh yeah, we have the road to romance. And then I was like showing you guys some of the things. And then there's couple counseling. And then someone suggested that Cove should go to couple counseling with Dake. And I think that's perfect because even though they're not in a relationship, I definitely think it makes sense for them to go to couple counseling because they have a romantic relationship. Like they are lovers and they have a baby together. And obviously things are not working out when it comes to their relationship area. So um, I think that would make sense for them to go. So I could definitely see that now it is 11 p.m and she's really just not feeling the greatest however you know what i'm gonna do anyways i well okay you know what go use the bathroom hopefully she can do these things pretty quick and then i was thinking she could ask mark out um like ask him out to go somewhere i mean um what's in the fridge um oh we got lots of stuff you guys Let's go ahead and eat this. Now you're here. Oh, wait, you're just here for Harlow. Okay. <laughs> Let's cheer him up. 
Go do that before you go to sleep. She needs these points, you guys, because she's going to be going all in with the life's drama. So that's going to be interesting. Um, and, ooh, she's already craving weed, you guys. Oh my god, it's going to be bad. But she's going to really try to push through. I don't know if she's going to cave. I don't know. See, I don't know if she's the type of kid, sin that would cave. I'm not sure. Like, I, I feel like, like even though she has an addiction problem, like, if she's decided, like, hey, I'm not gonna do this anymore, this baby's here, like, she'll stick her mind to it, and, like, she may go crazy, but she might not smoke again. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we will see. Okay, did you end up working? Because I did leave, so I'm just gonna have her do it again. Ooh, wow, you're so kind. Thank you so much. I feel much better now. Yay! Okay, so let's do a VIP show. Oh, you need to hook up, huh? <laughs> I guess so. So she's gonna go to sleep. You're eating and then hopefully we can ask Mark on a little date. I'm not on a date really, but ooh, mentally relaxed. Acadia's experience. Okay, so you have the same, you have the same exact thing. Uh, she's just totally stoned, you guys. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, uh, well, I guess we can just try to bring him somewhere, right? It's literally like midnight, but we know that she's a little night owl. She loves it. I think we're gonna go here. We are going to uh, be a little romantic. We're gonna, uh, no, no, no. We're gonna ask you on a date, like an actual date. Should we? Okay, you know what? Scratch that because then I'm gonna have certain things I have to do and I'd rather them just have a good time and not worry about doing specific things. Oh, it has to be boyfriend. Okay, so we're gonna blow a kiss and then I guess we can head in, right? Yeah, we'll head in. What's up here? Ooh. Oh my gosh, she would ask him out in here. She would totally. She would. She 100% would. Okay, we're gonna go here. Go here together. Like where the gaming is. Ooh, acquired the romance skill. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. I can't believe this is going to happen. Okay, I need to change their outfits. Just, you know, make the vibe better. Bi vibe. What did I just say? Make the... I just said make the vibe vever or something. Like I, I try to pronounce better with a V. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, I'm seeking men's center dresser, change outfit, and change into this outfit because that is so much more you. I also am still gonna give him like a little makeover. Definitely. Um he's still a young adult. Good, good. So let's do some cute stuff. Oh my god, it's gonna happen, you guys. What the hell? So I'm gonna cue her up a little bit, so let me just leave it paused for a minute. And let's do a couple things, and then she's gonna ask him to be her boyfriend um this is gonna be crazy we're gonna sweet talk a little bit we'll also do that like super compliment thing whatever it is uh super romantic compliment oh my god you guys and then she's gonna ask him she's gonna do it oh wait i just passed it oh my god ask to be boyfriend they are so cute though they really really are now is this gonna be here forever <gasps> oh <laughs> Acadia says, I could have woohoo with you forever. Is it is it love at first sight, you guys? <laughs> Look at her face. No wonder she said that. She's stoned out of her mind. <laughs> oh my god, of course she said that. She's she smoked a little too much weed, you guys. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yay! <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Okay, I thought I was gonna mess it, but we got it. Aww. How cute are they? Oh, they're little sweeties. Why do they both look high and he's not even high? Please tell me. <laughs> Please tell me. I think they would smoke weed together all the time. Not e I can't even lie. They totally would. Aw, I took too many pictures, but they're so freaking cute. I can't believe it. They are together. Ooh, her resolution's complete. Yay, Acadia completed her resolution of getting a significant other. Amazing love is in the air. <gasps> Sweeties. Oh my gosh, now they need to get a sentiment. Excuse me. This is the sweetest thing I've ever seen. Um, Let's compliment his parents. And then we're gonna kiss him a bit and everything like that. And then they're gonna probably play some games together. Cause <gasps> Sentiment gained. Oh my gosh, I was just saying that. Okay, after that. Everything good is happening. Good, good, good. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, promise to dedicate song. Oh my gosh, she would do that. Hold on. She would totally do that. Because, like, we're gonna kiss his neck again. And she would totally do that because, like, she makes music. Promise to get a dedicate song. Okay. Send him a game. You're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you. I hope you feel that way about me, too. <gasps> Aw, you guys. <gasps> Smitten. Oh my god. 
Mark can't handle it, but he really is enamored. En enamored. I don't know. Well, I've, why have I not seen that word before? With Acadia and the sight of her makes Mark's heart beat faster. Oh, and they have closer from happy memories. I've seen that before, but this one, I love it. Oh, Are you kidding me? Are oh, you God. actually kidding? Yes, yes. Are you kidding? You're, you're not kidding and it is so great. It is so cute. Let's play with, of course, we're gonna play with him. We're at, why are you not showing? What do you mean? Excuse me, why can't they play together? That's so dumb. Are you kidding me? You have to be kidding me. Okay, I don't know why. Maybe they can get a drink together instead then. So let's order drink, order drink for group and let's get IPA. Okay. Oh yeah. Prank day was horrible or awful. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, is that Kazumi? Is that Kazumi? Why is his name not popping up? It is Kazumi, isn't it? It is. Oh my gosh. So basically I have the thing where Sims from my library spawn into the game. Um, with MC Command Center, you can basically like import tray settings from your library. So then the Sims from your library spawn into your game. So you can have like your Sims walking around or Sims that you saved to your library from the gallery. All of that. I've done a video on it before, but um, that's why Kazumi's here. But we love that. We'd love to see it. <laughs> okay, so I don't know where he's going to, but she's getting some drinks. She has a boyfriend, you guys. Oh my god. That's crazy. That is crazy. Are you getting our drinks? Like, hello. No? Oh, maybe you are. It took a minute. Oh, he's back. Hey. Oh, you're so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. So if you guys don't remember, especially now that like, uh, we're going to attempt to seduce him. So now like the LGBT mod is still working, but for some reason they don't have the traits anymore. So before I was able to actually set that she's bisexual and that Harlow is pansexual and then Cove is straight, but that's their sexualities. If you guys don't remember what in the hell is going on, I don't know what she's doing, but sure. Um, oh, I love this. I love that you can just click lifestyles. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm like so obsessed with the game lately. <laughs> like all the new things we've gotten, lifestyles and sentiments. Ah, it is just, it's everything. It's literally everything. Okay. Um, let's express fondness. And do we have our drinks? I don't think she made us our drinks. Like I want a drink, order drink, order drink from group. Um, IPA, come on now, come on now. What do you mean? Who do you guys think is going to be the next to get a boyfriend? Do you guys think that Cove is going to end up being with Dake or no? Like they're going to couple, they're going to get couple counseling. Like, I don't know. Cause like, okay. So I mean, you would think that maybe Cove would like, you know, date a bunch of people before like settling, but I almost feel like she's the type to just like hook up with people and not necessarily date them unless she really, really, really feels like they're right. You know? You know, like, I could definitely see her dating a couple people. It might not work out. But, like, I don't see her, like, you know, dating guy after guy after guy. I see her sleeping with guy after guy after guy. But I don't see her, like, dating a bunch of guys. I just see her being, like, flirty with them and, like, hooking up with them, kissing them, all of that. So, yeah, I see that. And then I felt like Acadia was going to get multiple uh, boyfriends or girlfriends because she's bisexual. But Mark came along and I don't know, you guys. I don't know, cause there is uh, Claire. So what I'm thinking perhaps, she also still has that thing with Weston, she still has a thing with Alex, but I don't know. What I'm thinking is that like, maybe they'll end up breaking up and she'll, you know, like see how life is with Claire. And like, maybe if he still seems more perfect because so many of you guys ship them. So many of you guys are like, yes, that's our soulmate. And I've been feeling that too. So maybe like she, a lot of people don't realize it yet. And then they'll go back to them after and be like, you know, like I realized you're like the one I want you, you know, you know, and I like how she's just hitting it up. <laughs> she's like, I gotta get all of Harlow weed, Harlow's weed smoked. I gotta, I gotta get it all gone. <laughs> Okay, he's going downstairs. I don't know where he's going. Uh, are you gonna go bowl? Are you leaving? I mean, if you are, that's okay. Because we can probably leave too. It's 4 a.m. I think he's leaving. I want to make sure he's actually... He's definitely leaving. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna leave too then. She's not tired though. Uh, because she's just not literally night owl. <laughs> so she's gonna go and like, you know, tell the girls in the morning uh, because it's late that she 
officially has a boyfriend and yeah like i said like maybe they'll break up and she'll date like a couple other people but she'll find her way back to him or something i think that could be really cute um like it was her first boyfriend and then she ends up going back to her first boyfriend that would be really sweet oh that really would be and i guess we're gonna see what happens with Dake and Cove, I'm actually quite curious. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh my God, what are you doing? Don't worry, you guys, she does have these nude underwear on. Yes, it has pubic hair, but it's not, you see, it's still underwear. I don't know, it's weird. I don't know why she has no clothes on though. And where'd she be getting the six pack from? Like, <laughs> I'm so confused of how that showed up and when that showed up. I talked in the last episode, but I didn't see any comments of you guys letting me know, like, when that happened. And I don't remember that happening. Like, I don't remember her getting abs. I remember her stomach being, like, toned, but I don't remember the abs and the, the abs and then she just had the baby and she just had abs. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, okay, go off. Oh my god. Um, you're a little bit hungry. It's 4 a.m. though. You should go back to sleep. She'll probably be getting up soon, but like she should still be sleeping till like 6 a.m. So she's gonna go do that. And then she's too pumped, okay? So you're still awake. She's gonna be like, oh my god, we're dating. Me and Mark are dating you guys. Or you guys? I guess she wouldn't say you guys because it's only Cove right now. But she's gonna just tell her. So we're gonna do a deep conversation. And she's gonna be like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. And I guess Cove's probably gonna be like, oh, you're so lucky. Like, I wish Dake would like smarten the hell up. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But you guys, with that being said, I think I'm going to wrap up this episode here. The next one, I think Dake and Cove are going to go to couples counseling. Uh, I think they're going to do that. And then we're going to see if Harlow can do something for her weed addiction. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see how their couple counseling goes. I don't know. And then I think soon Atticus is going to visit his dad. So he's going to stay there for a little bit. And then I think what I'm going to do is like, I imagine that Cove would be kind of nervous. So I think Cove is going to go over there for a little while for like the first day that he has Atticus and see how much Dake gives Atticus attention. So that's what we're going to do because I am curious because he's going to be left there for like a couple days and that kind of makes me nervous. But you guys, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys also so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much